there are 27 cards having numbers from 1 to 27. Two cards are picked at random one by one without replacement. What is the probability that the sum of numbers on these two cards is odd? What is the probability that the sum of numbers on these two cards is odd? Right? So, interesting one from probability posted by Monica Agarwal. Now, what do we have? We have got 27 cards which are which are numbered from 1 to 27. Right? So, basically we have 27 numbers. Right? 1, 2, 3 and so on up to 25, 26, 27. Right? Now, two cards are picked at random one by one without replacement. So, two cards are picked at random one by one without replacement. So, two numbers are chosen let's say one by one without replacement. So, you will choose one number followed by one more number without replacement means what the number that you have chosen will not be put back into the set if you have chosen the number once it is out then you will choose the other number what is the probability that the sum of numbers on these two cards is odd so what is the probability that the sum of these numbers the sum of the two numbers that we have chosen is odd now for this you need to understand that the sum of two numbers can be odd if and only if exactly one of the numbers is odd See, understand, in this set of 27 numbers, we have got 14 odd numbers and 13 even numbers. Right? 14 odd numbers and 13 even numbers. How do we say this? See, up to 26, it will be equal division. Up to 26, 13 odd and 13 even, right? You know that every alternate number is even, every alternate number is odd. So, up to 26 numbers, we have got 13 odd numbers and 13 even numbers. The 27th number, which is 27 itself, is also odd so 13 plus 1 14 odd numbers and 13 even numbers now we want the sum of the two cards the sum of the numbers on the two cards to be odd when can the sum be odd see e1 plus e1 is even e1 plus e1 will result in even take two even numbers 2 plus 4 is 6 right it's an even number odd plus odd also will be even right like 7 plus 3 is 10 7 plus 3 odd and odd is giving an even number so these two are ruled out these two cannot be considered but even plus odd is odd or odd plus even is odd like like for example uh, 5 5 plus 2 5 plus 2 7 or 2 plus 5 7 right so these are the two favorable cases and then when it comes to adding the numbers whether it is even plus odd or odd plus even is both the same whether you add the even number to the odd number or odd number to the even number is both the same so basically the requirement is we have to choose two cards in such a way that one is an odd card the other is an even card one is an even number the other is an odd number that's the requirement right one should be even the other should be odd which one is even which one is odd doesn't matter first will you be will you take even number first followed by odd number or odd number followed by even number does not make a difference here because anyway you are going to add the two values right so it, it will not uh, impact or it will not change the answer right so probability that the sum is equal to odd implies one odd card one odd number and one even number you don't have to write this step in the exam okay don't waste your time again just trying to explain this to you right so the probability that the sum has to be odd implies what you have to choose one odd number and one even number so what will be the answer so the probability here will be equal to see i want one odd number out of how many odd numbers out of 14 odd numbers in how many ways can you do that 14 c one ways and which means into one even number out of total how many even numbers 13 even numbers so number of favorable cases 14c1 into 13c1 what is the total number of cases see totally we have got 27 cards out of 27 i have to choose two cards so 27c2 you understand what is probability number of favorable ways divided by total number of ways the total number of ways here are 27c2 out of 27 cards we need to choose two cards so 27c2 what is the number of favorable ways one odd number and one even number so odd number can be chosen in 14c1 ways even number can be chosen, uh, chosen in 13c1 ways right now simplify this 14c1 is 14 13c1 is 13 in fact you should directly write 14 and 13 you should not write 14c1 13c1 you know that nc1 is equal to n right so directly take 14 into 13 what is 27c2 27 into 26 divided by 2 that 2 goes in the numerator anyway right 27c2 is 27 into 26 by 2 27 into 26 by 2 so 2 goes in the numerator. Anyway, 13 into 2 is 26. So this gets cancelled. What are we left with? 14 out of 27. 14 by 27. So that's the final answer. The probability that the uh, sum of uh, the numbers on these two cards is odd is 14 by 27. Right? 14 by 27. Also understand, I think, I mean, uh, uh, Monica has not given us the options here. But if options were given, maybe we could have marked the answer even without 
uh, putting pen on paper. Of course, a lot of these steps are not needed. I mean, if I have to highlight, uh, many of these steps can be avoided in the exam, right? I mean, you don't have to write 1 to 27, then 14 odd numbers and all this stuff, right? I mean, this is just for your understanding. You, you don't have to really write anything here, right? All this highlight in red is not required. All this is for the sake of explanation. So don't go by the length of the explanation. Actual solution is only this. So if, if I have to tell you what actually needs to be put on paper, this, this is what you need to work on. The smart person will only put this these numbers on paper and simplify to get the answer as 14 by 27. Anyway, what, I've, what I was trying to highlight is if options were given, if we had the options with us, maybe we could have uh, solved it without putting pen on paper. I'll tell you how. See, understand that there are only two possibilities. The sum of the numbers can either be odd or even. Yes or no? Final result that you get, there are only two possibilities. Either the result will be odd or even. Right? Which means 50-50 chances. I mean, if you take an equal distribution, there's a 50% chance that the sum is odd, 50% chance that the sum is even. But because there are 27 cards, see, if there were 26 cards, if there were 26 cards, what would happen? If there are 26 cards, then the answer would have been like 50-50. I mean, the sum can be odd or it can be even because we have equal number of odd cards and equal number of even cards. But then, uh, you know, uh, I mean, not I mean, not exactly 50-50 there, but try and understand that there are more odd cards. If you see, there are 14 odd cards and only 13 even cards. So there is a higher chance that the sum being odd, I mean, there is a, there is a chance that the sum being odd is higher. The probability of sum being odd is higher than the probability of sum being even. So if you see 14 by 27 is very close to 50%. 14 by 27 is approximately 0.5, right? So probability that the sum is odd is half, 0.5. A little more than 0.5, slightly greater than 0.5. It is slightly greater than 0.5. See, 13.5 by 27 will be 0 0.5. 14 by 27 is little more than 0 0.5. So if only one option is there which is more than 0.5, little more than 0.5, I can directly mark that as the answer. Using the logic that there are more odd cards and less even cards. Suppose he says, what is the probability that the sum of the number should be odd, uh, even instead of odd if it is given as even? I note that the answer should be close to 0 0.5 and less than 0 0.5. Why will it be less than 0.5? Because there are less number of even cards. So, you know, there's a higher chance that we choose odd cards than even cards. And that too, with the understanding that one odd and one even card is required. If both are even or both are odd requirements, then that would be a difference too. Yeah. Anyway, not a very complex question. 14 by 27 is the final answer and it should not take more than 15 seconds for you to get this in the exam.